Light does not travel. Nikola Tesla said, sound waves to air is like light to the ether. So let's figure out what he meant by that. So I was thinking of a good example and I thought Jello would make a great example to help explain some of this. I found a video where someone had filled a swimming pool with Jello. So I thought, perfect. So here, Jello is the medium and the gentleman is disturbing the medium. So let's watch. Okay, so I want you to notice that the waves themselves are not necessarily what the jello is, but rather what the jello or the medium is doing. It's reacting to the disturbance. Notice the bubbles on the waves do not travel away from the disturbance, the hand. So this makes it easy to see the jello is not traveling. To the edge of the pool. Even when this little feller moves around, he's just disturbing the medium or the jello around him. You can look at some of the bubbles to see that the waves, it's just creating a spatial footprint. Anything with a spatial footprint gives the illusion of traveling. And we people like to measure and assign a value to the waves or try to quantify them. So now imagine someone knocking on your front door. The impact of someone's hand making contact with the door disturbed the air pressure. So in the very same way, waves are created in the air pressure and our eardrums pick up on the waves and our brains interpret the waves as the sound of someone knocking. If the knocking on a door happened in a vacuum chamber, free of air pressure, there would be no sound to hear as the sound requires the medium of the air pressure. Now imagine someone turning on a light. Eyes work by picking up electromagnetic disturbances or waves in the ether. So when the ether or the electric pressure system we live in is disturbed, it generates waves in the same way as the jello. The ether reacts or is disturbed by the electrical energy from the light bulb. So the electrical energy from the bulb is causing waves in the electric pressurized system we live in or ether or voltage if you prefer. <laughs> the wave lengths are different and react accordingly to the disturbance that is generating the wave. So in conclusion, I just wanted to maybe help explain what Ro Walter Russell meant years ago when he originally said this, that light does not travel. Um, it's We live in an electrical pressurized system and there are disturbances that create electromagnetic waves and the waves behave just like the sound waves in air pressure or like we saw with the jello. And so that the light isn't actually traveling just like the jello wasn't traveling to the edge of the pool. It's just generating waves because of the disturbance. I went a little more in depth in a different video that I created called Photons May Not Be What We Think. Uh, if you want to check that out, if this interested you, but thank you so much for watching, and I hope you found it enlightening, pun intended.